What's up you guys? Welcome to Kaipan Aditi. I'm your host and host Aditi, of course. Recently there was this wave of sadness that hit me so hard. Like okay, so my parents are out of town and uh I sat down on my bed and then I started thinking is this what it feels like? Like just I cannot even fathom like sabko hi at the end of the day at the end of the whatever life everyone has to face death in general but it just got me thinking how sad i was because my parents were not around and just it it hits you hard like i'll tell you this like once the death starts rolling in it it hits you hard i'm just glad you know i am grateful that none of my significant people in life have died and i've not seen that in other in other like case my parents are my dad is orphan basically now like both both the side mom and dad both died rest in peace but they've both seen a lot of death and just it just got me into thinking how sad it is but again if you think about it death is the most peaceful state of mind i guess like you don't feel the pain and that's like i think that's beautiful like no pain i don't know but then also no pain means no growth if you are living human right now um it's it's crazy like these thoughts keep popping up in my mind like whatever i'm like experiencing and facing through i want to share i want to talk like these deep conversations i'm sometimes as hote ke samne koi hota nahi hai baat karne ko and that is where matlab you usually talk with samne wala person and the samne wala person also gives a perspective I I hope to have somebody on the podcast some day to talk about such deep deep meaningful <laughs> depressing uh, talks and just have I don't know there's no conclusion to this just something that I've been facing and I wanted to chat about it yeah guys last time I was also talking about Ranveer Singh ka nude photo shoot that he did with paper magazine which I loved and also it was very classy pictures there was nothing offensive that way about it probably uh people respect him too much that they did not expect so much of him <laughs> out there in front and that made a lot of people uncomfortable and i heard that there were two fir's against filed against him just so that matlab because he did that photo shoot which does not make any sense i mean his body his rights whatever he want to do and it i don't think paper magazine is is a indian magazine in general it's an international brand and national magazine which is hilarious like there was this legit argument going on on one of the national tv news in india and i was shocked i was laughing because there's so much you can talk about but they chose to show that and just so funny even the anchor host jo bhi thi wo lady even she was laughing and asking the samne wala person jo lady thi who she ki aap kyun itna uncomfortable ho ya jo bhi hai it, it just the interview was so funny like you just got to go google search it youtube pe aapko video clip milega aapko for sure it just is so funny to watch it like i understand maybe the picture might have made lot of people uncomfortable but then you know i've seen the pictures and there is me as a female human on this planet earth i don't think there was anything you know revealing or you know explicitly put out there like mm, like we've all seen playboy magazine if you've not you should check it out at least once in your life it's 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 not that the pictures were so classy and like there was nothing exposing matlab jo nahi dikhna hai wo nahi dikhna hai aur jo dikh raha hai wo is acceptable enough you know you feel me i don't know <laughs> but then again his body his rights usko jo karna hai like i i don't understand why the fir i genuinely don't understand why the fir happened like it's it's crazy like crazy times matlab there is so much to report about all across the globe about the war the pandemic the monkey pox and so much so much ho raha hai but people choose to <laughs> address ranveer and his paper magazine ka spread which is funny like is genuinely funny in other news um 
ए आर रहमान वॉज इन टूर वॉज ऑन टूर इन टूर क्या होता है इतना खराब इंग्लिश कब से बोलने लग गई मैं प्रॉब्ली हो सकता है चलो ठीक है आई फगेव फगेट मूव तो ए आर रहमान सच एन इनक्रेडिबल टैलेंटेड म्यूजिशियन आर्टिस्ट सो ही वॉज ऑन आई थिंक अ वर्ल्ड टूर और मे बी यू एस टूर बिकॉज उसके कॉन्सर्ट्स देखे मैंने सो uh, ऐसा so, होता है कि जब भी कोई टूर पर होता है आई हैव अ लॉर्ड ऑफ फ्रेंड्स इन माई सर्कल हु आई फॉलो ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड जब भी ऐसे होता है ना तो लाइन से पहले प्रतिकोर 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 सबकी स्टोरीज पे प्रतिकोर नाउ इट वॉज ए आर रहमान ए आर रहमान ए आर रहमान एट लाइक वॉट इज दिस ये तो वेव वेव में आ रहे हैं सब स्टोरीज इट वॉज सो फनी मतलब एवरी डे द आर्टिस्ट गोज टू अ डिफरेंट सिटी एंड आई हैव फ्रेंड्स लिविंग इन डिफरेंट सिटीज है टेक्सिस हो गया फिर एल ए कैलिफोर्निया हो गया फिर वर्जीनिया ईस्ट ईस्ट ऑफ यू एस हो गया सो फनी <laughs> हर हर एक दो दिन में मुझे ये कॉन्सर्ट्स देखने मिल रहे हैं एंड इट्स इट्स ब्लास्ट यू नो इट्स अ ब्लास्ट सीइंग दीज पीपल एंजॉइंग हैविंग ग्रेट टाइम आल्सो लाइक ए आर रहमान इज इनक्रेडिबल एनी वेज लाइक माय माय बेस्ट माय बाय फार माय बेस्ट म्यूजिक आई रिमेंबर सिग्निफिकेंटली आई थिंक इट वॉज फ्रॉम जोधा अकबर आई आई थिंक इट वॉज जोधा अकबर जिसका म्यूजिक दिया था उसने करेक्ट मी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग जोधा अकबर का म्यूजिक वॉज ब्रिलियंट माई लास्ट आई थिंक दिस इज समथिंग दैट इवन माई मम अग्री वुड अग्री विद द म्यूजिक फ्रॉम ताल Every single track from Tal is bang on beautiful Chumeshwari Chef's kiss. Like, itna song beautiful. कैसे कोई कंपोज कर सकता है ये मैं अभी भी क्वेश्चन मार के मेरे लिए लाइक जस्ट सम पीपल आर जस्ट मैन टू डू समथिंग एंड सो वेल एंड दैट टू सो वेल एंड दैट वॉज ए आर रहमान लाइक वी कांट लाइक आई कांट इमेजिन एनी बडी एल्स डूइंग इट लाइक you are born to do something and just following that calling can get you to so many incredibly beautiful places and create such master master masterpieces basically <laughs> okay also best time to do such tours just throwing it out there rupee is at all time low it's like 80ish rupees versus 1 dollar crazy times crazy times you are almost hitting the पाउंड का ये आई थिंक पाउंड इज एट नाइन्टी रुपीज द लास्ट टाइम आई सो इट वॉज एट नाइन्टी रुपीज नाइन्टी रुपीज पर पाउंड विच इज लाइक वी आर ऑलमोस्ट देयर डॉलर पाउंड माई गॉड लाइक दाल आटे का रेट सुन के ही यू नो सैलरी बस मतलब दाल आटे का रेट बढ़ रहा है बस सैलरी बढ़ नहीं रही है ऐसा हो रहा है द इन्फ्लेशन इज सो हाई देख रहे हो विनोद <laughs> Did you? <laughs> okay. If if you all got the Binod wala dialogue, that's great. We are all in the same wavelength. If you did not get it, please go check out this web show called Panchayat. I absolutely freaking love love loved the show. Loved the show. It's on Amazon Prime Videos. Dusra hai, do season aaye hai Panchayat ke. Third. This is like the most funniest, lightest, family-friendly hit show on Amazon. Like it's hard. See, at at a certain point, it's hard to show content to my parents because, of course, of you know, visual nudity, ho gaya ya abusive ya drug, alcohol, whatever. Like you can't show Mirzapur or you can't show sacred games and like there's so much. I mean, like so much going on for sure. You can't just sit down and watch it with your family. Like. panchayat is that like one show that you can actually sit down with. because i when i started this my mom was obsessed with the show like i could you not obsessed like the 30 30 minute ke pehle to har episode 30 30 minute ke and that's like the best thing you could do about like just episodes in general 30 30 minute ke hai and आई वुड तो हाईली रिकमेंड यार सब लोग देखो पंचायत के दो सीजन निकले एक्टिंग की भी यार बहुत मतलब बहुत ही बढ़िया की है लाइक आई कैन नॉट आई कैन नॉट बिलीव इट टी वी एफ का बेसिकली शो है द वायरल फीवर दे स्टार्टेड ऑफ विथ यूट्यूब नाउ हेयर वी आर ऑन अमेजॉन प्राइम बिग बिग स्टाफ कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम दैम 
also shurveer was another great one on hotstar that i recently saw loved it like just loved it i think i've already talked about the show so i won't rave more about it <laughs> i am watching i'm in middle of a lot of shows paper girl was that one show that i recently started watching but i don't i don't know if i can finish it it was a comic turn into a web series on amazon prime which i'm excited about but i don't know i've also finished gossip girl reboot season 1 i loved it like there's more to it it's just fresh and uh up to today's you know up to today's social media world basically up to i i just like it like it's to the time basically purana gossip girl was hands down the best best one of all but like this is like updated rebooted version of it like where everybody's using instagram and like nobody's on a blogging site and like just it just makes sense and i like it i like it so yeah man a lot a lot going on i i this was i think the week where not a lot happened but um thoda bahut hua uh, and here i am i i thought maybe i might get some time more time to diverge diverge into more topics that i'm interested in or maybe just thought about so there was this one huge chaos that happened on the internet that i am pretty sure everybody is aware about it's about kim and kylie kim kardashian kylie jenner post so basically there was somebody who an illustrator i believe i don't know who posted who created this post where they say that bring back the old instagram uh and what the post was trying to say was stop making instagram another tiktok basically that which you know it kind of makes sense because we are all exhausted and trying to keep up and also but there jab tak sabse bade business entrepreneurs and sabse bade naam hastiya kuch bolenge nahi na tab tak kuch hona nahi hai and that is what exactly happened a lot of people shared nothing happened then the biggest accounts on instagram had to share and that's where the you know the current ceo had to step in and talk about it like all of us wants at this point for instagram to not become another tiktok like everybody at this point instagram le lo youtube le lo aur kaun sa app hai jo bhi app hai now everybody is trying to become tiktok and we none of us want that but sadly yahi reality hai jab ceo aaya aur wo bola ki bhai okay we will try to uh, like take a step take take a few step back and like the let it like flow how it goes and like he did address it you can just google it and read out his statement ki he will take a few step back and dekhte hai kya hota hai type but then i think was it even applicable on a global scale or was it just the us so ye to fact hai agar aapko pata nahi hai ye to fact hai hi ki agar aap brand ho instagram pe ho to ab photo se kuch hona nahi hai ab aapko video ke game mein utarna hi padega because i have seen this happen to me as a creator i've seen this happen to me where uh, when i post a picture it gets like 10 10ish 5 or 10ish likes but then when i post a video it has like 3 4 5 thousand views on it like even like to a point where i even almost hit 10k views on it and i was like this is crazy like it was reaching to a mass audience that i did not expect it to reach to and this was not happening to my photo so now instagram have become a video first platform everybody is trying to be something new and whatever comes to the market everybody is trying to pick that up like to matlab ab to ho hi gaya na yahi ho gaya ab tiktok ke baad next agar koi app aata hai so it started with snapchat with like 24 hour story 24 hour mein wo story gayab ho jayegi type and then that was copied into um stories on pehle to instagram and then it went to you know uh facebook as well facebook pe bhi stories aane lage 24 hour wala scene tha jo bhi hai 24 hour mein gaya bo jayega whatsapp pe aa gaya wo ab na tiktok has suddenly seen so much hit about short videos and um of course the other platform has to pick up even youtube is trying to promote more of youtube shorts which you know i think it it might work out for them because there's already so much uh 
क्रिएट अ बेस दे हैव एंड दे हैव फुल मोनापोली कि कौन सा वीडियो कितना वायरल होना चाहिए लिटरली आई वॉज एट एट वन पॉइंट आई थिंक इवन आई वॉज शेडो बैंड फ्रॉम रीचिंग सो अगर मैं कोई वीडियो पोस्ट करती हूँ तो इंस्टाग्राम हैज़ द राइट्स टू नॉट push it to a larger audience like they give priority to certain videos and they have the right to do that i don't think they have the right i don't know kitna kitna wo log fake views hai ya real views hai ya you know kitna um kitne logo tak pahuncha sakte but i think they do have jitna mai ko pata hai shadow ban ka scene aisa hai ki they they do have priority of certain accounts to reach a certain level versus priority of certain posts to not reach a certain level like if you if you utter some words that instagram is not okay with like the war ka scene ho gaya war about ukraine and all that palestinians and just just the topics that can be controversial or very scandalous and like instagram does not want you to talk about it so it the post will not reach okay the post will not reach jitna audience ko chahiye hoga even you talk about sex or if you talk about certain things i think instagram has the rights to um, hold your post off into reaching a large audience which is crazy like the amount of power like the power who oh god who oh god <laughs> so you you got to be at the end of the day anyways be very careful about what you put out there uh on on the internet and yeah the bigger the follow account it, it's supposed to like reach higher audience i guess i don't know bella hadid gigi hadid both are i think palestinian ladies um and they often they are activists bella is activist so she talks often talks about it but i don't know uh, how it the shadow banning works with such high profile celebrities models supermodels yeah it's it's crazy like how everybody now is like just trying to become tiktok like already platform hai like हमको अगर शॉर्ट वीडियो देखने तो हम जाएंगे टिकटॉक पे हम जाएंगे मॉच पे हम जाएंगे एम एक्स टाकाटक जो एप्स है वाई डज इंस्टाग्राम हैव टू बिकम द नेक्स्ट टिकटॉक और लाइक वाई डज यूट्यूब हैव टू बिकम द नेक्स्ट टिक वाई कैन इट जस्ट बी दैट लाइक लाइक डोंट स्क्रू अप समथिंग दैट ब्यूटिफुल आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वाई एंड इवन आफ्टर डूइंग ऑल ऑफ दिस आई थिंक आई रेड इन द न्यूज एंड मेटा का फर्स्ट आई थिंक फर्स्ट सेकेंड फर्स्ट टाइम अराउंड की दे आर इन लॉस even after acquiring so much they are in loss which is crazy wow like it does take a lot by the way to to like own and run such a huge organization global organization that can you know move and shake up the world yeah crazy crazy times guys crazy times anyways uh the other thing i wanted to talk about was um the five senses of senses basically and the specific sense that i was talking about was sense of smell i came across this topic because of a sanitary pad all right yes we are going there <laughs> so i got my period last uh, last week and um the whole point of talking about even sanitary pad was mere pad khatam ho gaye the and i had to end up going to dima to get these pads now there are a lot of versions and varieties of pads and i hate those gel lock ones like i think they genuinely like are too perfumey perfume for me and uh, they just those micro plastic like i just don't want plastic down there basically and so i consciously made the decision to change from those plasticky pads to like more cotton touch pads without those micro gels like i don't mind the flow to slip but usually does not happen ki if the flow slips out of the pad and like or uh, my pants turn red aisa kabhi hua nahi hai sorry sorry tmi uh, for the visuals but okay the whole point of it was i went to dmart i picked up my regular sanitary pad that i i usually get i got back home the bag i don't know for some reason i smelled the bag i did not even open the sanitary pad just i opened that blue cover plastic cover jisme aata hai i smelled it and it was heavily perfumed i was like what are the odds ki main kholungi aur pad mein se bhi baas nahi aayega because the last time i shopped for pads it was like probably 6 months ago and i have now i have lot of pads lot of pads at home and so i did not end up purchasing pads for like good 
थ्री टू सिक्स मंथ इश इतना पैड आई डोंट नो इट वॉज एक्सीडेंट दैट आई प्लेस्ड ऑर्डर एंड इतना सारा आ गया था एंड आई लाइक यू नो वॉट आई जस्ट यूज इट सो नाउ आई हैड अ लॉट एंड देन आई टुक एवरी थिंग बैक टू मुंबई एंड मुंबई में नाउ हैव लॉट ऑफ पैड्स और यहाँ पे एक भी पैड नहीं है सो आई गॉट बैक हाँ तो मैं लेके आई एंड आई ओपन द पैकेट एंड येस एवरी सिंगल पैड कॉटन टच पैड्स स्मेल ऑफ परफ्यूम हैवी परफ्यूम लाइक जिस इज इट इज द लाइक द क्वेश्चन जेन्यून क्वेश्चन इज द सैनिटरी पैड सपोज टू स्मेल इतना परफ्यूमी एंड चलो स्मेल कर रहा है परफ्यूमी पैड्स बट हाउ गुज गुड सच परफ्यूम पैड्स आर फॉर योर डाउन दैर एरिया आई विल सेट विजाइना हाउ लाइक हाउ क्वेश्चन मार्क लाइक इट्स अ जेन्यून क्वेश्चन मार्क इज इट बैड ऑफकोर्स इट इज बैड एनी काइंड ऑफ परफ्यूम लाइक That's the most like, what can I say? Perfume in general is bad, especially if it goes internally inside your body. I don't know, and कुछ बोल नहीं सकते यार. So when I when I raised this topic with somebody, my lady friend, and she was say she was completely okay with perfumery pad because it would smell down there, and I was like, that have never happened to me where it actually smelled that bad because. I always carry two or three extra pad, and if I think it's like that, I would keep changing it every f- six hours or so, and uh, to prevent such uh, bad sense of smell. Basically, it just got me into thinking. Like, I was so triggered by the perfume in itself because this has not been the first time where I'm triggered by the perfume, and that too sanitary pad. Me, I just could not believe my eyes. I still have it. So I I pulled out six seven pads, put it out there, laid it out. I was like, twenty. I'll give it twenty four to forty eight hours for the smell to go away. The smell did not go away. Anyways, I had to still use it, and I don't. I don't know if it's psychological or genuinely कुछ कुछ हो रहा है नीचे वहाँ पर which should not happen. I'm just I'm just worried. That's that's all I will say. Um, I just have a weird like weird quirk about sense of smell. I you could say that. So I also recently got I am lot a lot into hair mask also recently. So I got this uh, Enrich Salon ka I don't know Goji Berry hair mask that is like Nike ka best selling product and uh, the product worked like it was a four out of five star product. But the smell of Goji Berry was nasty like i ek to i did not like it and it was so intense ki aisa lag raha tha aap genuinely salon se bahar nikal ke aapke baal kaise smell karte hai mere main jahan pe meri jo salon wali lady hai parlor wali she uses jab bhi main agar hair spa karwati hu to she uses products of matrix and even matlab meko brand se koi problem nahi hai meko mere sense of smell mera itna weird hai ki i i need subtle sophisticated smell not not smell that is out there and it will give you a headache sort of because meko hi wo sense of perfume jo bhi hai wo meko hi pehenna hai pura din so samne wale ko to chhod do meko hi headache aaya to fir main kaise carry on karungi day right it's like that's that's the whole point and just this goji berry had such intense heavy heavy fragrance i could not like i love the product but i don't think i will repurchase it again it was very expensive for the amount they were giving and then i switched to duff Uh, Dove had such like I got a scrub, macadamia and rice milk was such an incredibly sophisticated, very subtle. I loved, I loved the smell of it. I got that, and then I got another two bottles in sale, and the price point for the quantity they were giving were great. And so I was like, I've tried the scrub. I love the scrub. They don't have, sadly, they did not have in india they did not have a body cream for macadamia and rice milk which i think us has so maybe you want to check it out i don't know i saw somebody using a body whipped cream of that specific fragrance and i was like why do we not have this it's so difficult to find dove products that smell good not just dove ka ek very like subtle sophisticated smell hai but they have more flavors and i'm looking for more uh, fragrances so I ended up finding another uh, hair mask. This was by Dove. Sadly, even this hair mask. So first time I ne lagaya, it was okay. Like it was okay. It was not that bad. But 
after like washing my hair and everything and the smell the smell started bothering me and then i i could not recall where the smell is from and that's where i realized oh the smells like uh kya bolenge shaving cream and yes i could you not shaving cream it smelled like that and i was like no i do not want to smell like a shaving cream oh god like it had that like thoda time baad me ko realize hua oh yes you know shaving cream that's bad like no the no just i just did not like it i matlab the whole <laughs> question mark is me uh aisa bhi hai na ki yaar fragrance is that one thing that is very very subjective something that i might feel sexy you might not find that sexy uh and that's how it has been and also there is no such thing as gender in perfumes like people think oh women's perfume hai to women's ke section se lena i find men's ke perfume zyada much much sophisticated richer uh or the woodier uh, leathery perfume better than the fruity punchy floral like i don't like that that's just not my vibe so um if you are at zara maybe you want to check out also the men's collection it's so freaking beautiful like these are like my just sense of smell okay even music these are like my ticks bowling in a quirks ki yaar i would get annoyed by it like music in car ugh. like i can't i can't do that like i i like music but like anything excess is too much for my brain it's like every time i listen to music i sort of get a earworm like that that music would keep on repeating itself the entire day and when it gets to a point i am like okay i don't want to so that is where i decided i would not listen to excess of music and if i matlab jis din lagta hai music i i listen to music but not in in proportion and in with breaks instagram ke sath aise hua ki the more you watch instagram the more you watch videos on instagram the repetitive the music is of course music is repetitive if with the viral content going on so those music even get stuck in my head and i try not to watch it like once you start watching it the algorithm is beautiful once you start watching it you won't stop basically that so that's where we are at smell ho gaya and then also sense of taste you know with covid covid happened so if you all okay so if you are not aware i struggle with food i have always struggled with food it's just i've re- recently realized this ki i do struggle with like i don't understand what is a good proportion and what is not a good proportion of food and um yeah i have to keep reminding myself okay i'm done or am i hungry or like i struggle with food let's just put it there um so mm, i was even like as as i thought about sense of smell i started thinking of sense of taste as well because uh as covid hit like there was a genuine symptom where you could not i think taste the food at all like there was no taste at all i think even i could not s- smell the taste smell smell the food basically so it just everything all felt like raw rubber like everything was like that which got me into even thinking further would we be eating the same thing same unhealthy un- undernourished whatever processed food if we've lost the sense of taste and smell would we be still eating the same that's a huge like that got me like into a spiral <laughs> ki yaar then then we might have to be you know other taste sense of taste or smell hi nahi hai to fir then we might have to like zyada se zyada hum kya kar sakte the kya we could have been a little bit more creative around texture and crispiness of food and like we would not even need sugar or salt we would have been at our fittest because anyways we can't taste food so jo satvik bhojan bolte hai ki yaar बॉइल किया हुआ थोड़ा सा मे बी जस्ट फॉर आर साइकोलॉजिकल रीजन वी आर एडिंग स्टफ टू इट बट इफ एनी वेज इफ वी डोंट यू नो एड एनी थिंग एट ऑल वी जस्ट ईटिंग बॉइल्ड फूड विच जस्ट टू नरिश द बॉडी आई थिंक वी वुड हैव सर्वाइवड अ लिटल बिट लॉन्गर कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट रीजन ऑफ मी स्ट्रगलिंग टू डी एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल इन द वर्ल्ड सो yeah i just that's what i'm saying ki kuch na kuch like this with the perfume it started happening in the sense of smell and in the sense of taste like this is how my brain works like i connect one thing to another another thing to third thing and just that that sort of becomes a whole podcast 
<laughs> anyways i hope this made any sense at all uh, this was today's podcast i hope you guys had fun listening i will see you in my next one thanks for listening bye